Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this set of videos I'm going to talk about programming, particularly with a software which is uh, known as Facilino. In this presentation I will talk about Facilino. The outline of the presentation is to introduce Facilino and also to introduce how to program with blocks using Facilino. First, uh, you need to know that Facilino is a software that can be downloaded and here you have the URL in order to install uh, the software but there are two versions of Facilino that you can use. One of them is Facilino OTA Guy which is an installable software, it's a software that you can install on Windows and the other alternative to use Facilino is to use Facilino Auto Server, which is a binary, it's a server that allows a web browser to program the electronics using Facilino. As you already know, Facilino is a software for, for programming electronics, low-cost electronics such as Arduino electronics, also a, a ESP electronics and also Raspberry Pi Pico electronics. So all these electronics are supported by uh, Facilino. And it has been translated into two languages, but also has been partially translated into many other languages, as you can see there. So let me now uh, highlight the main features of Facilino uh, compared to the previous version that we have uh, in uh, about Facilino. So right now, Facilino is hosted at UPB servers in our university. It's a totally free software, so there's only the only thing you need to do is to register and uh, it's a very simple registration and you have access to the full features of the, of the software and um, if you use Facilino OTA server then it allows you to program devices through a web browser but you can use the guy uh, in which you directly through the guy you can program the devices. We will show uh, exactly how to do these kind of things in a live demo. Uh, now in this version you have a user account uh, which is associated with a project dashboard in which you have all your projects listed uh, associated to do that uh, user account and during that time we have done a lot of effort by simplifying blocks including uh, or extending some features to include filters to simplify some projects uh, several aspects that you will see later in the live demo. Also we still keep uh, a tutorial and a project related exercises which are uh, quite handy if you want to start uh, learning uh, Fatalino. Some of them we will uh, present it here through the videos. It also has a feature which is called OTA, over the air, which allows Fatalino to program devices that are connected over the internet, not directly through the USB cable, but this is an advanced feature. And also, uh, it includes, uh, in, it includes uh, documentation, but this is an in-progress feature. Okay, so now let me uh, explain how uh, block programming uh, works, particularly uh, the ones that we use in Facilino. Uh, when we drag and drop uh, block instructions, they are connected to each other, and they are connected through different kind of connectors. The one that you see here on the top, the previous connection, and the one the, the below, the next connection, allow to uh, uh, put blocks or instructions sequentially so they can be executed sequentially by connecting them as they were, uh, they were part of the same uh, code instruction. Also, you have input connectors in which you can add uh, some additional blocks to it so the result of the input uh, connector will be attached to this uh, connector and used by this instruction. For instance, uh, some instructions they have, in order to, to be compatible, some instructions they have the output connector. So all these instructions that return something will return this value or this uh, thing through the output connector. Uh, Sometimes some instructions they have inline input connectors, which means that within the instruction you might uh, include different kind of uh, inputs there as well. And some instructions they use the statement input, which is a way to say, okay, uh, I want to use this instruction, but within it I would like to use additional instructions that they can be, uh, let's say, connected through the 
previous and the next uh, connectors as we saw before. Some instructions they include a drop down list which makes them uh, or they make variations of the same instructions so they allow you to select different kind of uh, features within the same idea of instruction. Other instructions they include a field number or a text number so that the or sorry a text field that uh, allows you to change this uh, this field accordingly to what you what you need like uh, in this case a number or uh, the name of a variable and finally some instructions if you see this star here it's a mutator which means that if you click on it you will see a pop up uh, window in which you can add to this instruction which is the feature let's say sorry the, the basic um, uh, shape to this instruction you can add additional instructions like in this case an if instruction in which you can add additional cases like else if cases and also the else case so that will modify the aspect of the, the, um, the final instruction and that's why it's called a mutator well this presentation was about